Here's Z fighting in Second Life. So first of all, right click and create a prim, just click. And from there, you can hold down shift and then click and drag such that you can see already they're overlapping. To make this more evident, let's recolor them. So let's make this one green, for instance, select that. And let's make this one pink because I like those colors. Now I'm gonna just zoom in and as you can see, they're clashing because they're trying to occupy the same space. To offset one, we can click one like that and click the object tab. And notice you can fine tune it. You can enter in numbers if you so choose, but this works as well. So for instance, we don't want the height to clash, just offset it a tiny bit. Sometimes it has to be a bit more at distant camera angles. But as you can see now on top, when we are going to minimize that. It's a bit too much off, so you'll need to fine tweak it. Let's move this back down a bit. Like, let's see, uh, just a tiny bit. And you can get it pretty close. Let's see here. Such that it's not quite there, but it's almost indistinguishable. And it's still a bit off, so it's not a perfect thing. It's a workaround. See, that places it under now, and that kind of flickers at longer distances. So use your eyes. It can help also in graphics preferences if you have this custom on to set mesh detail to be higher, because that has higher precision when you're looking at something like this. But hopefully that will help you understand and see why this is happening. We can do this the same for other coordinates as well. So here now, it's not clashing on those sides, nor is it on these because it's offset. And again, you can tweak to taste. It's a quick look at Z fighting in Second Life.